In an 11 News update, a Baltimore City police officer faces assault and perjury charges in a case of alleged police brutality. Back in June, Officer Vincent Kosum Jr. exchanged some words with a Baltimore man and then was caught on camera camera watch cameras, uh, punching the man in the face several times. The state's attorney's office says Officer Kosum completed a report after the incident saying that the victim had assaulted him. Kosum is also now charged with misconduct in office. The attorneys for the victim have filed a lawsuit against the officer. Meanwhile, Baltimore's mayor today threatened to veto a city council bill requiring police to wear body cameras while at the same time virtually guaranteeing the camera program will be implemented. And that's how the latest chapter in what's become a quite a political spat. I-Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in the newsroom with the details. Jane. Donna, the mayor slammed the city council for rushing the idea of body cameras, as she put it. She has her own plan and a work group of her own and is now fully committed to implementing a police body camera program. Man, I am 100% in support of police body cameras. It was Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake's strongest statement yet on the topic of equipping city police with body cameras. There's just like you look at if we're building a park or if we're building anything else, but what we're doing here is saving lives. It comes a day after a city council committee approved its own camera bill, but that's a different proposal and the mayor threatened to sink it if it doesn't address the issue she wants resolved. I will veto a law that doesn't do what needs to be done to provide uh, body cameras in the, white, in the right way to Baltimore City's residents. A week and a half ago, the mayor announced a task force to shape a police body camera program and answer three questions, how to pay for it, how to protect privacy, and what to do with all the images and audio that get recorded. Today, the mayor said the task force is in the final stage of its work, suggesting the mayor's proposal is coming soon. We're moving forward with body cameras. My commitment is to get it right. At the council hearing yesterday, the city's lawyers said the council bill is an illegal overreach of the council's authority. The mayor followed up today by accusing the council of racing to be first. This is not about scoring political points or trying to figure out who gets credit first. As written, the proposed city council bill makes no mention of a funding source for police body cameras, what to do to protect privacy, or what to do with data storage. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. A Baltimore police officer faces criminal charges in the beating of a suspect that was caught on tape. That video ignited a federal investigation into the city police department. WJZ is live at police headquarters. Megan McCorker with reaction to the charges filed today. Megan? Well, Vic, that officer now faces second degree assault and perjury charges for his role in that videotaped beating that outraged city leaders. Blow after blow, Officer Vincent Cossum is caught on city surveillance camera repeatedly punching Colin Truss in the face. The police need to understand that the same rules and regulations that are for the citizens are also for them. Now Officer Cossum is charged with assault for the seemingly unprovoked beating of Truss and perjury for allegedly lying on a police report saying Truss had attacked him first. But attorneys for Truss say just charging one officer isn't enough. The other officers participated. They held his arms back. Our client was knocked unconscious on his feet. The June 15th incident ignited outrage across the city. The incident sparked the mayor to call for a Department of Justice investigation into the entire Baltimore City Police Department. Not getting it right, that's not an option. We have to get this right. A recent Baltimore Sun investigation reveals between 2012 and this July, more than 3,000 misconduct complaints have been filed against police. More than 1,200 were sustained. This was something that I took very, I take very seriously, something that the commission takes very seriously. We were very disappointed. Federal investigators will now look into police training standards, conduct ride-alongs with officers, and hold meetings with the community. They'll release recommendations to try and prevent this from happening again. And federal officials are expected to issue their initial assessment of the department in the next six to eight months. Live at City Police Headquarters, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you. Attorneys for Colin Truss have filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the city.